Tennis star and Richmond legend Arthur Ashe now lies in peace, but the area surrounding his gravesite has problems. Trash is dumped here. Today, it's a used fence. Richmond City Councilman Roy West is leading the fight to keep this area befitting the hero buried here. After we cleaned it for Mr. Ashe's burial, it was my hope and, and dream that it would have remained that way. But it was your story initially that, that broke, broke my heart. You broke the news to us that the cemetery and the environs were about ready to revert to what it was before. More than three weeks ago, we showed you the conditions at the cemetery. It certainly did not look like the place for a hero. State leaders are now joining in the effort to keep up the gravesite. And we're in the process of doing some research. And after the research is done, then we can come up with a uh, means of maintaining it, whether it's help from the state or from the private sector. But I think that'll be a combination of both, I hope. There is one very important reason state leaders are getting involved. Right now, I'm standing in the city of Richmond. Now, I'm in Henrico County, and the cemetery is that way. City leaders are hoping that a dividing line will not keep the two jurisdictions from working together. It's always been owned by the uh, city. We've Meanwhile, News Channel 6 has also learned that city officials have offered a Richmond burial site to the Ash family. It would be at the Oakwood Cemetery off Nine Mile Road, 187 acres of city-owned and operated property. It's, it's maintained six days a week. We don't, like I said, we don't work on Sundays, but I have a crew here every day, every day, from 8.30 to 5. At this point, Arthur Ashe's family has told officials they don't want to disinter him or his mother, but they have also not completely ruled out that option. In Richmond, Suzette Reed, WTVR News Channel 6.